Hello and welcome to the Dutchin channel. It's Saturday 27th of April 2024, approaching half past nine, and we're now going to do these selections at Doncaster. We've already put up Haydock, Leicester and Ripon so far, and we're doing Doncaster and then we're going to do Wolverhampton. That'll be the five UK flat meetings for today. And we're going to start at Doncaster. But already there seems to be a few non-runners coming here, so the ground can't be that good. The 505, we've got Carlton, a non-runner. The 540, Selby's Pride. Then in the 640, Holy Fire and Prairie Falcon. In the 745, Jacques Cartier and College Choir. And the 815, Merry Mac and Soldiers Class. So there's a few coming out and it's very early at the moment. So expect more non-runners throughout the day there, I would think. So we're going to start with the 540 race. We're only going to go through our betting races, but we have five of them. And our top selection in the 540, now Selby's Pride Out, because that was our number one, is now Willow Baby. So we'll start with this selection. And um, Willow Baby, what I've got to do is make sure that they've reformed the market properly. Right, Willow Baby, this is currently 9.6. And stakes of £10.42 would return us £100. Our second selection is Vixie, that is 7.4. And stakes of £13.51 would return us £100. And our third selection, Lotus Rose, is 5.8. Stakes of £17.24 would return us £100. And we've got £8.83 left to spend. And our fourth selection is Tor Frieda. And Tor Frieda is 4.9. So just running through the stakes of the first three, left us £8.83, so we can't have any more on Torfrida. That's our £50 stake in the first race. And our selections, we've got three running for us, Willow Baby, Vixie and Lotus Rose. And the other one will be Torfrida for lesser stakes and returns. Then we're going to go into our second betting heat. This is going to be the 640 from Doncaster. And again, we just want to see whether they've reformed that market. Oh, it doesn't look good. But there is another one coming out as we speak in that race. It is Katie Content. So this is going to be one of those meetings, I think. We're going to see some serious non-runners. So we'll take KT Content out. I may have to come back to this unless they reform it by the time we go back on there. Let's have a look. No, it's still on 130. We'll come back to this race. And we'll now move on to our third betting race, which is the 710. And the 710, our top selection here is Attila the Honey, which is currently 17.5. And stakes of £5.71 would return us £100. Our second selection is Shagpile. And this is 6.2. Stakes of £16.13 pence would return us £100. And our third selection is Roxanne, which is 4.3. Stakes of £23.26 would return us £100. And that will now leave us £4.90. 
and that will go on our full selection which is divine comedy and that's currently trading at six so in the 710 we've got three running for us that's attila the honey shagpile and roxanne one of those three will return us 100 pounds and divine comedy will be the lesser amount i'm just gonna go back to the 640 if not we'll go on to the next race it's coming down a bit but it's not great but i, I do think we'll be able to do some kind of bet on that before we leave so moving into our fourth betting race this is the 745 and we're going on to a horse our number one selection contacto we know there's two non-runners there we've done them and contacto is currently 3.5 stakes of 28.57 will return us 100 pounds and our second selection is trafalgar square this is 46 stakes of two pounds 17 will return us 100 pounds and our third selection is overlooked that currently hasn't been overlooked because that's 2.78 that is favorite so let's add up what we've done so far that leaves us 19 pounds 25 pence and that will be our three selections for the 745 and we've got two running for us that's contacto and trafalgar square one of those two will return us 100 pounds and our third selection overlooked will be the lesser amount and we'll go into our fifth betting race this is the 815 and our top selection here is heavenly fire and something else is happening here it's 464 over round and yet yeah, as you can see at the bottom there's another one coming out as we speak inspiring speeches so that's another one we're going to have to take out so this is going to be a hard video to get across i think So first of all, we'll just take that out and make that a non-runner. And that will leave 12 in that race. But what we're going to do now, we'll go back to the 640 and use what they've got there. that's going before they reform that market so we'll go into the 640 which <clears throat> is coming down it's on 128 it isn't great so let's have a look we've got dakota gold as our top selection which is 8.8 uh, magical spirit is 10. i'm not going to read the stakes out on these because it's it's going to be difficult i think lethal nymph is 5.6 i don't know how close they would be to any other market these fantasy master 12.5 uh, quintus arius quintus arius is 20 And we know that if we're 20, 28 percent on the over round, that really we should be able to lay out anything up to about 63 pounds to equate down to 50 when the prices get back to normal. So we've laid out 52. I suppose we can afford around another tenner that will take this to about 50. So 19 and a half of Snazzy Jazzy. And it just takes time, 18.5. So that's going to be around the amount of horses that I think you'll be able to do in that race. At the moment, that's a 62 pound layout. But because it's 28% over the over round figure, by the time the prices will fluctuate there, they will go out most of them. 
I'm sure that you'll be able to do Dakota Gold, Magical Spirit, Lethal Nymph, Fantasy Master, Quintus Aria, Snazzy Jazzy, and it just takes time. I'm not going to go back over that race. I'm going to leave that as it is. Because of what's happening at the moment with horses being pulled out left, right and centre. I'll just give that a quick update just in case. And it's still on 128, so we're going to leave that one as it is. Now we're going to go back to the 8.15 and we'll see if they've updated the prices here and no they haven't it's still on 458 over round so we're going to leave that race totally we'll do a recap on what we have got into the first race we've got willow baby vixie and lotus rose one of those three will return us 100 pounds for the 540 at doncaster and the other selection, Tor Frieda, well, we had £8.83 left over. We'll times that by the 4.9, <clears throat> and we will return £43.26. So we will be under there, but not too terrible, as we've got three running for us. The second race, as I said, by the time you get round to the the proper over over round figure here, I'm sure, for the 640, that you'll be able to do Dakota Gold, Magical Spirit, Lethal Nymph, Fantasy Master, Quintus Aria, Snazzy Jazzy, and it just takes time. But of course, we can't do much more on that because the prices aren't here to allow us. Into our third betting race, this is the 710 at Doncaster. We have three running for us, Attila the Honey, Shagpile and Roxanne. One of those three will return us £100. And Divine Comedy, well we had £4.90 left over there. We will times that by the price of six. And that will give us a return of £29.40 for that one. Into the 7.45 at Doncaster, we've got two running for us here. Contacto and Trafalgar Square. One of those two will return us £100. And overlooked, we had £19.25 left here. Times that by the SP of 278. And that will return us 53.51. So it will be our money back there. So that's not too terrible. And that's about it. I'm just going to give them one last chance when I go on this. Right, there's no change there. And there's no change in the other one either. So that's about it. I hope you have a, a good afternoon's betting and profit. And we'll be back for the results show this evening. So we'll catch up then. Thanks for watching.